hey y'all welcome back to my channel guess what i'm in greece right now i'm recording this in natural lighting um i have my camera kind of hanging out of a window but it's attached with the tripod so it's safe i wouldn't risk that but this video is all about my summer favorites so i did a summer glam today and i just wanted to do a video dedicated to summer favorites especially because i'm on vacation i was like why not show you guys my summer favorite looks so um if you like what you see um keep watching so you can learn how to get this look and so you can also find out what my favorite summer products are and what i must have for the summertime and for my vacation so i'm going to start off just hydrating my face and i'm using the studio 35 hydrating water gel but it's basically the same thing as the neutrogena hydrating water gel i don't know the exact name but this was five dollars less and i read the ingredients and they were legit the same word for word so i was going to hydrate my face with this i like it i brought it on vacation with me to miami and my face didn't peel and i just always made sure to put it on like all the time to like intensely hydrate my face because i don't know about you guys but in the summer i peel and i get super tan and my skin gets all effed up so i just like to really make sure i'm taking care of it one maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation keeps me nice and slick so i like to do my foundation first instead of starting with thick brows and i'm just gonna take my damp beauty blender and put this all over my face i'm gonna go in with my urban decay um my urban decay primer potion i've already filled in my eyebrows and i kind of did them a little softer than i normally do i also didn't even put um concealer around them because i'm kind of getting over the whole eyebrow trend lately i don't know why it's just not my thing anymore i mean i still fill them in but i just really am loving my natural brows lately so i'm just gonna coat my eyes with this and then i like to blend it out with just some fluffy brush by uh real techniques blend so i blend it all the way up to like my brow bone and anywhere else that i'm going to put eyeshadow just like to kind of fluff it out i always set my primer with some laura mercier loose translucent powder it just makes it easier to blend your eyeshadow once you have a it set with a powder using my modern renaissance palette i'm going to use the shade burnt orange if you couldn't tell it's like one of my faves i'm gonna just kind of blend that in with in my crease and i'm gonna bring it a little further up more it's gonna be my transition shade because i kind of just changed my mind and i want to add a little antique bronze into this too now i'm gonna go in with actually a fluffier dome brush just to kind of get it more into my crease then i'm going to dip into the shade antique bronze and just stick that into my crease and that's antique bronze right there i'm just gonna keep layering it on until it's like the depth that i want it and i don't want it too too dark so you know it doesn't gotta be too much i think this is a um it has slight shimmer this shade but nothing too cray and then in my crease i'm just gonna go again and blend everything together with that fluffy brush and burnt orange all over just to really mend those colors together. I'm going to highlight my brow bone with Nylon by MAC. Nice. Once again, I'm going to blend with the fluffy brush to mend everything together. You don't want to see a start or a finish line. Uh, you should probably highlight first, to be honest. Finally, I'm going to dip into the shade of Vermeer right here with a flat eyeshadow brush. And just spritz that with some Fix Plus for some extra vibrancy and pop of color. I 
kind of dragged it in above into my crease just slightly. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush that I used for antique bronze and I'm gonna kinda and just go back in and blend those together. Just to soften that out. And I just love the way that looks. So I'm basically done with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to step away for a second and apply some false lashes. All right, these lashes are so damn heavy and they're so extra, I might take them off. <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna leave them on. But they're these Vegas Nay 204 lashes. But right now, I just kind of wanna open my eye up a little bit and I'm going to put nylon also into my tear duct and I'm spraying the brush with Fix Plus as well. I'm just gonna blend that and I'm gonna blend it into Vermeer as well. So I'm not just leaving in the tear duct, but I'm also gonna kind of drag it into Vermeer and blend that. Well, I'm gonna highlight with LA Girl Pro Conceal, and I love this too because it keeps me super matte and super full coverage, and it really lasts me. So I think this is also a great concealer for the summertime if you need something to keep you slick. Nice. You know, I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb here in the street because like people don't wear makeup like that in Greece. But I just like to look good all the time and I like to like represent like this is who I am, you know? Alright, let's blend that. Alrighty. And then, of course, I'm just going to set that with my Laura Mercier translucent. I'm actually not really baking under my eye. I'm just kind of going to stamp it in where it needs to be stamped in. So I like to stamp underneath my eyes and also my forehead and um, chin because they, they get really greasy for me. Nice. Once I've done that, I just take a fluffy brush. Dip it into the Laura Mercier, dust it off, and then disperse it amongst the rest of my face. And I'm just going to finish contouring, and then we'll talk about my favorite summer face products. So, one of my summer, like, absolute must-haves is this Lorac um, Tantalizer. I love this product. Um, if you have the same complexion as I do, it's just a great product to give you some shimmer and blush on your cheeks. You could use it as a bronzer. Um, and then if you are slightly darker, it's even great for a highlight in the summertime. I'm going to show you. I have no highlighter on, but I like to could just use a, a, like a, a, sta a stippling brush like this. And I just put it onto my cheeks. And it gives me like an extra glow. And I'll, I'll put this usually in between my contour and my highlight. Now I haven't highlighted yet, but I'm just going to use it as a blush right now. And it just gives you that shimmer on your cheek. Like a nice bronzy shimmer, but it's not too much and it's not too dark especially when you're tan like this is a summer must-have um i love it like i really just love it for this summer um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead spread it on the apples of my cheeks give me some color some shimmer mm -hmm. just like that i love it and then in pictures it just makes you glow to the gods and then another must-have for me is the That Glow Glow Kit by Anastasia, or really any of their glow kits. Um, I just love it for this summer because you have the golden bronze right here, which is so good. You can use it to bronze you up, um, and then I, I kind of just layer it, or sometimes I'll use it the same way I use the Lorac Tantalizer. And then I love these two right here, the um, Dripping in Gold and Bubble highlighters are so to die for and then if you really want to make everything else pop i mix it in with sunburst or you can even use it alone for a way more dramatic highlight so today i'm going to be using dripping in gold then i like to just dust on some of that highlight right on to my cupid's bow although i'm not going to put it on my nose because i just get a little greasy and i don't need any more help another summer must have that i just love so much is this nyx 
um, white eyeliner. It is so good. It goes on so creamy. Um, and it's also waterproof. It's a slide on, glide on, stay on, and definitely a turn on waterproof pencil eyeliner. And I love to put this onto my waterline and just kind of brighten up my eye. So I'm going to use one pinky and I'm going to go like that. And then finally, I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Today, I'm just using the regular one, but if I'm going to the beach, they have a waterproof version, and I love that for the summertime. So that is also my summertime favorite. And actually, this is what the waterproof one looks like. It just has the blue lettering, which has kind of worn off on mine because I use it all the time. But that is another summer favorite that I have is the waterproof CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. It's the bomb. You can even use it if you just sweat a lot and you don't want your mascara to smear if that's an issue for you. Another summertime favorite that I have is Kat Von D's Noble Liquid Lipstick. And I like to pair it with a darker lip pencil because I'm usually tanner in the summer and I don't want to look pasty. I'm just going to pair it with this NYX Bra Rose Brown, I believe is the name of the color, uh, lip pencil. If you can't tell, I really love it. It's like running out. fill in the corners a little and I overlap it and I'm just gonna keep messing with it until it's all blended sometimes I kind of just like to use my finger to buff out the edges And then I just tap to blend. And then last but not least, you guys know that I use Fix Plus for everything. But I'm going to go ahead and set my face with it. It's not really a setting spray, but that's what I like to use. And I also love this as a summertime favorite because it is something that will hydrate your face, especially if you get the mineralized charge water, as in my other videos. But it's just good to kind of use after the beach, if you need some refreshment, something to hydrate your face throughout the day or refreshing you if it's hot outside. So it is something that I do like to keep in my bag, especially after the beach or if my face is feeling a little dry in the summertime because I'm always in the sun. So um, this is another huge, huge summertime fa uh, favorite. So guys, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. And um, if you did enjoy it, please comment, like, subscribe, um, DM me on Instagram with any suggestions, and just make sure that you share the video or you support it. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.